Hi, my name is Albert, and I want to show you a bit about how to get started with scripting your debug session in MPLABX IDE. MPLABX provides scripting capabilities to control the IDE behavior programmatically. These scripts are written in Jython, which is a Java implementation of a Python interpreter running inside of MPLABX. The scripts have access to an API that allows you to control various aspects of building and debugging in MPLABX. Let's go over how to start using the scripting functionality. To start scripting, MPLABX requires that a file called autoload.py is placed in the project folder when the project is loaded. Using MPLABX IDE version 6.05 or later, you can add autoload.py to a new project by right-clicking the project name and selecting Add Autoload. Now, let's look at how to use a script callback to create a complex conditional breakpoint. We will declare a device halt callback, which allows you to inspect the device state on each stop. The callback can decide whether to halt or continue running by returning a Boolean. This way, you can construct advanced conditional breakpoints using simple program breakpoints. So how do we intercept the program halts? We are going to use a simple program with several breakpoints. Each time a breakpoint is hit, MPLABX will invoke a callback from autoload.py. The Python code can now inspect the device state, store data on the disk, print text to the output window, and more. Let's start with opening our autoload.py script. First, let's add an onHalted function that runs whenever we hit a breakpoint. This small example here will just print text to the output window whenever we are halted. Next, I will change the onHalted function to print the value of a variable whenever we stop at a breakpoint. Now, let's say we don't want MPLABX to halt after printing the value of a, if a is an odd number. We just need to add an if statement here to do the check for us, and that's it. It's really that easy. Please note that MPLABX breakpoint detection can take up to 30 milliseconds. So it may take up to 30 milliseconds for each breakpoint to halt, even if the application is resumed after the condition is checked. This may slow down the application considerably, so make sure you keep your breakpoints out of tight loops. These are just some bits of what you can do with autoload.py. Thanks for watching. For more info, feel free to check the link in the description of this video, and be sure to check out other bits in this series anytime.